This is not a drill. Steven Universe Future, and really this series as a whole, will be ending next month, with 10 episodes being shown across the four Fridays of March. These final 10 episodes will be released in the opposite order of the first 10, with two episodes each Friday until the four-part finale at the end. We tend to host live streams every Friday following a new episode, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to be a part of that. With this news came a new trailer, and boy is there a lot to unpack here. We will link the full thing in the description down below, but let's dive into it and break it down moment for moment so we can get an idea of what's going on. The first thing I notice is that the trailer is incredibly Steven focused, whereas the first trailer had a lot of fun appearances by Jasper and Bluebird and Pink Pearl and the others, this one focuses almost entirely on Steven, with small appearances from other primary characters. Even Connie appears this time, in the very first shot no less. She appears to be very concerned about what Steven has been going through and says that she's been trying to reach him. This focus on Steven and the other primary characters gives me hope that there will be a very focused plotline building up to the ending. While there are still some side plots I'd like to have seen explored, it will be nice to see a cohesive story from here until the end. In the first shot, Connie is only appearing on a FaceTime call with Steven, but his hand is already pink, so it looks like she's going to have some questions about what's going on with that. His sleeve is blue here, which sounds irrelevant, but it will connect with other shots in the trailer later, so it's good to make a note of it. The next is Steven, normal, screaming as we push into his mouth. Nothing too important here that I can pick up on, but it is dramatic. The next shot, however, is very odd. Steven seems to be falling from the sky, but in the sky we can see his home. You can even see the little diamond base piece in the corner. In it, he's wearing his pink sweater again. After that is a shot of Steven crashing into the ground, but it is clearly in an entirely different scene. This time, Steven is wearing the upper half of what appears to be a suit, as opposed to his typical pink jacket, and he is in pink Steven mode. What is really concerning is that in the background we can see some broken things, like an instrument, a bouquet of flowers, and a picnic basket. I'm guessing Steven had a romantic date with Connie planned, and something goes wrong. Based on the suit, I think it's possible he may be even proposing to her. They're too young for that, but what else could happen in that scenario that would have Steven making such a dramatic reaction and destroying everything? The next shot is Pink Steven, no jacket, running with the copies of himself lagging behind, similar to how Smoky Quartz ran back in the episode Guidance. So it looks like this time-slowing powers were not because of a combo of Pink Steven with Amethyst, but just another one of the abilities Pink Steven has that only surfaced at that moment. The next shot is Steven running into his home. Even though he was running in the shot before, his jacket's on in this one, and it looks to be daytime even if it's still dark, but that's only because it's raining outside. Pearl looks concerned, and Steven is keeping his hand in his pocket. If I had to guess, this is where Steven's corruption is going to begin, and he's trying to hide it. He's probably on his way to the bathroom to mix some diamond oils together to heal himself, but that's not going to work, obviously. The next shot is Steven having a meltdown shouting, leave me alone, and everything goes pink for a moment. What's interesting is that even though he's not running, we do see those multiple echoes of St pink Steven appearing on the sides of him. His power winds down and the house goes back to normal. It's now sunny outside, so once again, a different scene than before. Steven is going to get even more angry as the episodes continue, it seems. After that, Steven is in a medical gown, what you would see someone wearing at a hospital or maybe a psychiatric ward, with nothing but shorts underneath. He's going pink Steven mode, and oddly enough, he's clutching his heart, so it might be some physical issues that his powers are causing. Then we transition to another shot in the woods. This is similar in background to the scene earlier where Steven was running, but this time Steven is punching the trees. Although the lighting is a bit different, I think this is the same woods that Jasper was hiding in. After all, I don't imagine there is that many woods surrounding Beach City. I think either Steven will go there to fight Jasper and end up taking out his frustration on the trees when he realizes she isn't there, or maybe he'll go there specifically to punch some trees, but when he runs into Jasper, he'll end up getting into a fight with her, going too far, highlighting how his emotions and his powers are escalating out of his control. 
Back at Steven's house during the daytime, we see windows cracking and things breaking. This seems to connect to the shot earlier where Steven was yelling at the gems to leave him alone. When he went pink Steven mode in that earlier shot, it probably caused these cracks, similar to what happened back in the episode Volleyball when he vented out his frustrations at the Coral Reef. In a really interesting shot, we see Steven trying to avoid his balcony floor shifting below him. It is apparently mechanical. Based on the shot we saw earlier, I am thinking that this base actually doubles as some sort of ship. It would make sense as to why he falls off it and falls from the sky, seeing it above him, like we did earlier in the trailer. Following that is Steven putting up another pattern wall that keeps Pearl out, as opposed to keeping people in like it did in the episode with Lars and the Off Colors. The metaphor here is very clear, Steven is putting up emotional walls so that they can't help him work through his feelings. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the same sequence of Steven shouting in his house during the day, though we can't really see based off the context of whether or not it's day. The next few shots are really fast and really similar, most of which is Steven seemingly clenching his eyes and shaking with powerful emotion. The first one is Steven waking up from a nightmare in his pajamas. Note the blue sleeves. This appears to be from the same episode where he talks to Connie on the phone via FaceTime. The second is Stephen back on his staircase, shaking like something with rage. The same scene where he tells the gems during the day to be left alone it would seem. After that, it is a nighttime shot where Stephen looks defensive, probably because there is some sort of explosion, as indicated by the smoke blowing around him. This looks to be the same scene where he was punching trees, and it's very possible that he caused all the damage that we're seeing in the background here. The third shot is probably the most weird one in the entire trailer, Steven kayaking with a life vest on. Having a pink Steven freakout while on the river. A lot of people theorize that Steven will be leaving Beach City at some point as part of an emotional arc of getting away from his own life, as indicated by things like him driving away from Beach City and the ending theme. I personally think this is going to be the next episode, however. After everything that happened with the cactus, he's probably going to go to get away for a while, and shenanigans will ensue. The fourth shot is Steven having another eye-clenching, head-grasping freakout back in his pajamas and seemingly in his house again. Something is casting light on him, but it's hard to say what. It reminds me of the light cast by the holographic projector in the Diamond Moon bases, though. The next shot has Steven standing in front of a montage of events from the Diamond Days arc back in Season 5. You may think this is his pajamas, but he's actually not wearing the same shirt, as his pajamas has a collar. This looks more like a medical gown he is wearing, so it is likely something that happens either in the hospital or psychiatric ward episode. The next shot is Steven, pink again, talking on his phone with presumably Connie on the other side. It appears she just asked why he is pink Steven, and he calmly says it's nothing to worry about. We can see that his pajamas are somewhat ripped, however. This really sums up the entire show so far, Steven going through crazy trauma and adventure, then insisting everything is fine as to not worry the people around him, thus causing him to double down on that very trauma. And that's when the trailer ends, revealing that the first two episodes are on March 6th at 7pm. One thing I have to say is that I love that the show is dealing with the fallout of Steven's adventures. Most shows don't deal with this sort of thing, and that's okay. Not every show needs to be about what would realistically happen if kids on TV did what kids on TV do. But taking the time to address it in a show like Steven Universe shows us that these things are in fact traumatizing and hard to deal with, not just fun adventures. It's an important story to tell kids. It is also the perfect metaphor for what we all go through. We may not be flying through space or fighting programmed AI alien gemstones, but we all go through things as a child and need to learn how to work through them. No one makes it out of life alive, and we all get a lot of scars along the way. It's important to address the fact that no matter how happy your childhood may have been, there were bad things, and those leave a lasting impact on all of us. I, for one, am so sad to see the show is ending. It means so much to me. I mean, it's literally my job to talk about the show to all of you, and it's been an amazing few years doing that. It's sad that it's ending, but it's been one heck of a wild ride, and it's been amazing to share it with you all. And if you're new here, there's still four more weeks of episodes, so like and subscribe so you can be a part of that journey with us too. See you soon.